Welcome to this episode of BizJet TV. Today we're going to talk about what's going to be happening in 2024. We're going to look at a little bit of you know what's happened towards the end of 2023. This is a time of the year when most of us look at how the year went and then think about what do we want to achieve in 2024. We've got great project here uh, for BizJet TV. It's going to be a big surprise for a lot of you. A great surprise. Uh, you're going to see some some really interesting changes in the next few months. Uh, with what we're going to be doing uh, with BizJet TV. Uh, but anyway, uh, enough about what we're doing here. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about what you're going to be doing in 2024. Now, my name is Fabrizio I'm an airline transport pilot and also uh, the author of the book, The Quantum Economy. I'm your aviation strategist and advisor. And uh, today we're going to talk about what's going on in the private jet world. Well, uh, right now, uh, we've seen uh, over the last few months, because of the whole COVID thing, which I've talked about a lot, uh, here on BizJet TV, we've seen a surge in people coming into the private jet market and flying private. And what we've actually seen in all the different markets here, we've seen a lot of people decide to buy a fraction of an aircraft. So we've seen companies like NetJets and FlexJet, which are the two main uh, fractional ownership companies out there, uh, uh, go out and order load more airplanes to increase their fleet by 30%. So as these new people coming in and buying a fraction of an aircraft, is that a good idea? It works for some people. Uh, but, you know, there is a problem. And the problem is that NetJets pilots have gone on strike, okay, and they want a pay rise. So they've been battling away, at negotiating with NetJets, and NetJets have only awarded them a 23% pay increase. But the pilots want more, simply because a lot of these guys know that if they join the airlines tomorrow morning, they're going to earn between 40 to 60% more. Now, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. These guys are very experienced. They've got airline transport pilots licenses. Um, they've got maybe three, four, five thousand hours. You know, these are perfect candidates for the airlines. And the airlines love these guys also because the NetJets training system, they train their pilots like they do with the airlines. They give them some really good standardized airline type training, but tailored for the private jet world. So you're getting yourself some really, really good pilots by getting them from NetJets. But if you are a NetJets customer, what's going to happen? You know, you're going to ring up to, uh, to order a flight and guess what? They don't have enough pilots. So there's going to, they're going to be delays. So that's going to be a problem. So, um, and you know, it's, it's interesting because when you're flying a private jet, the people sitting in the back, are, you know, are the, some of the richest people in the world. So I'm saying to myself, if the people sitting in the back of the private jet are amongst the so-called one percenters of, of the world, why is it that the pilots up front are earning less money? They're earning like 40% less money than the pilot flying the United Airlines 787 or the British Airways 777. It's interesting, isn't it? You get on a British Airways 777 and the pilot sitting up front is making far more money than the guy in the Learjet you chartered last week. Shouldn't it be the other way around? If you're spending 10, 20 million dollars on a private jet, shouldn't you be hiring a pilot and paying them more money than they would earn in the airlines? That's the way the logic should go, but that's not the case. The best pilots always go where the money is. It's just normal. It's like it's like in sports at the end of the day, you know. Maybe in sports some players decide to stay because they're loyal to a team. But you know, in the private jet world, you know, pilots want to go where the money is and where the, where the lifestyle is. So if you are looking to buy a private jet, you need to think about that. Now, in my book, The Quantum Economy, I want to talk about this because there's going to be a surprise here uh, today. And the surprise is very simple. You need to buy this book because in this book, it's going to talk to you about why you need a private jet. In the book, it's divided into three sections. Um, and, you know, the first section talks about the markets, the trends, uh, technology, amazing global opportunities. That's the first part of the book. The second part, we talk about why the business jet is the ultimate 21st century, century business tool. And the third section is all about, you know, examples of people that have bought a private jet and, you know, and what the story, their, their business story, how they incorporated the private jet. So I talk a lot about pilot training in here and pilot selection because, you know, everybody gets lost in how much is the airplane going to cost me, this, that, you know, and they don't consider the pilot fact. Now, the pilot is just as important, if not more important, because over the course of 10, 15 years, you're probably going to own three or four different airplanes. But if you recruit the right pilot, that pilot will stay with you during the course of those 15 years. And that's what you really want, because that person will know you and your organization. You will know them. 
and you know there's so many situations happening today when you get on an airline you don't know who's up front if they've got mental health issues if they've got other health issues or whatnot or it's a bit of a mystery and you don't want you know to be on an airliner and something go wrong or there's delays you're, you're totally out of control of the aircraft but when you own your own aircraft not fractional when you own the own your own aircraft you control the plane you control the pilots you control all that process you get to know them they become your friend you know you, you maybe even know their family if you're one of these companies that really looks after their people uh, then you know they're gonna feel at home they're gonna be loyal to you and you know you're gonna know them you know it's, 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 it's gonna give you a lot more comfort but what you need to do is you need to pay these guys really good money. You need to give them training, uh, double your training budget, give them, you know, same salary they get with United, if not more, um, because, you know, it's so important to, to understand this. And so this is going to be a big problem uh, moving forward will be the fact that, uh, you know, you'll buy a fraction in, in a, one of these fraction ownership things uh, at programs and, you know, the company won't have enough pilots or all their experienced guys have gone. To the airlines and now they've got less experienced people and again you have no control so you really want to be in control of the airplane it's so important and controlling the plane controlling the pilots controlling everything is really important and you want to hire one lead pilot that looks after the whole thing so what i'm going to do today is if you buy yourself a copy of the quantum economy and you write a review on amazon okay and you send me proof of the review and that you bought the book I will give you a free one-to-one -one consultation with me because the book tells you about why and then the next question is well then how do I go about buying a private jet well this is where I can help you where we'll talk we'll have a conversation one-to-one -one. as I always say here on BizJet TV I can only give out general information but you know every single case is different so we need to sit down and talk about your business your needs and come up with the right private aviation private jet solution for you and then help you through that whole process um, so I'm giving you a free consultation usually these consultations are paid for uh, today I'm offering this opportunity if you have bought the book and you've written a review on Amazon you're going to want to get the book out there in 2024 I think there's a need um, and so that's what I'm offering you here today now the other thing we've got next year is the US election and a lot of people are saying how's US election going to play into the economy and that um, we don't know if you know the Republicans are going to get in, get in. We don't know if the Democrats are going to stay. If the Republicans are going to get in, is their nominee going to be Donald Trump? Um, what effect is that going to have on the market? Um, what I personally see, you know, I think entrepreneurs are resilient, and I think whatever happens with the U.S. election, you know, entrepreneurship and the American spirit is still very, very alive in the United States. So I do think that you know the private jet market is still going to be moving forward nicely. Um, so that's definitely one. The other thing I see is cryptocurrency. Now, a lot of predictions out there, um, a lot of experts have said that we're going to see, of course, we've got the halving of Bitcoin happening uh, mid next year. And when the halving happens, if we look at the history of Bitcoin, we see that the value goes up um, and usually the other cryptos follow. But this time we have uh, the American government, you know, involved now in uh, allowing uh, pension schemes uh, to basically include crypto. And if that goes ahead these, with these ETFs, then we're going to see an even higher spike in the price of cryptocurrency. And what we're noticing with cryptocurrency is the demographic of people investing in crypto is a lot younger. And what we're going to see is as the price of Bitcoin and all the other cryptos goes up, we're going to see a number of people decide, well, you know what, they probably set themselves, maybe you're one of them. You set yourself a goal, you say, well, when Bitcoin hits $100,000, I'm going to sell X amount. I'm going to buy myself a couple of nice houses, invest in a business and buy myself a jet so I can travel around the world with my family. Um, and so we're going to see those people come into the market in 2024. Uh, and they're going to come in. Some are going to come in at the lower end. Some are going to come in at the higher end, depending on how much money they invested in crypto and when. Because, uh, you know, if you invested in Bitcoin when it was worth two or $3,000 and it goes up to 100000 and you put $250,000 in at the very beginning, you're going to end up with quite a bit of money. So depending on where you're at, and this, again, it's, it's very, very um, specific. And this is why, you know, we need to get on a one to one call. Um, and as I said before, usually people pay to speak to me, which is fine. But if you get yourself a copy of the book and you write a review and you send me proof of that, then you'll get on a call with me for free and we'll discuss your, your aviation needs and uh, see what we can do to help you um, to plan your 2024. I mean, one thing, sure, uh, we're going to see more and more people buy private jets. Uh, now there's a whole environment thing. And this is where they're saying where people are going into the fraction ownership route. Um, in order to sort of hide that they have a private jet. Well, this whole environment thing, 
these young people that are out there saying that private jets pollute the world when it's, they only contribute to 0.02% of the world's pollution, while cow farts contribute to 15%. So I would say this, instead of complaining about private jets, I'd stop eating at McDonald's because um, you know, you'll serve the environment more by doing that. Um, or stop buying meat, stop eating meat in general, if, if we're going to have to look at it that way. But at the end of the day, uh, most of the people that have private jets use it for business purposes and they build their business. And the whole story of Sam Walton is in here about how the airplane was key to him building the Walmart empire. And you can read that even in his biography. Um, and there's other entrepreneurs, the stories of them that I talk about in here. Grant Cardone has shared this story with me here on Bishop TV a number of times. And I talk about Grant and his business in the quantum economy as well. So, um, Go to the book for inspiration to find out the why, which I hope will give you that boost, and then get on a call with me for the how, and we'll map out that how for you. Unfortunately, bonus depreciation next year is going down to 60%. It was 100%, went down to 18 in 2023, going down to 60 But that may also change with the US, new US presidency. But you know, the, the tax system in the US is, is set up in a way that if you've got good tax advisors, you can offset. Uh, you know, the, the, the acquisition and also the uh, operation of your airplane. Um, we know this, you know, the rules are written for the rich. Um, and if you've got some good wealth advisors, you know, you, you'll be able to, you know, plan and your acquisition in, in a certain way. So that's all from me here on Bishop TV. Check out this other interview I did recently with Tom Abood, great entrepreneur and his story. He also flies his own airplane. Get yourself a copy of The Quantum Economy. I wish you all a great 2024. A Merry Christmas, first of all. Uh, with your loved ones and that and a great 2024 24 and I hope to see you on a call on a one-to-one -one call very soon and that's all from Bruce Apoli on Bizet TV I'll see you on the next one